Okay, um, yeah, hey guys, today we're going to be doing a guide on laddering, because if you see here in my community tab, um, I said, uh, because I get so many comments about how to ladder, and I asked if people were fine with the, because I made a combo guide when I hit 500 subs, that part of that guide goes over how to do ladders, but I asked you guys if you wanted a video specifically for ladders, or if the old one was enough and 81% said the new ladder guide and 303 votes so that's what we're gonna be doing today I was really busy today so this video is probably gonna come out really late but we'll be back to normal soon probably a rank climb tomorrow maybe GPO is about to update too so I have to be ready for that but yeah we're almost to 2k we're at 1.8k let's try to get 2k before the end of the month that'd be fantastic and yeah uh let's get into the laddering okay i'm here on itachi uh man well i can do it on anybody i just it's easy to show off of itachi okay so basically what laddering is it's doing a normal m1 chain like this but while you're airborne so how aba works is if you're pressing m1 in space at the same time you do an aerial m1 and the aerial M1 for when you're on the ground is an up tilt. Like when you hold space, you up tilt. That's the aerial M1 for when you're on the ground. But once you're already in the air, if you keep holding space, because normally what happened if you did normal M1s, if I um, go up and don't do an aerial M1, if I just normally press, I down slam. Or if I even go up earlier, I down tilt. That's what's probably happening to most of you. You go up. And then instead of doing another another normal M1 combo, you either down tilt or down slam. Well, how you actually stay up is just like how to do the aerial off the ground to do the up tilt. You hold space and press M1. It's the same thing. Instead of once you up tilt, don't let go. Like normally, we usually let go of space right here and then bring them down. Like usually we let go right here and slam. No, you don't want to do that if you want a ladder. If you want a ladder, you bring them up. What the heck? Why didn't he go up with me? You bring them up and then you don't ever let go of spacebar. My after I did like when you do when you hold on the spacebar to bring them up into the air, don't let go like you're gonna slam. Just yeah, make sure your thumb or whatever you use spacebar with, make sure it stays on spacebar. Don't let go after you up to. And if you hold spacebar, once you're in the air already, if you're holding spacebar, it just makes you do another M1 combo, but in the air. It doesn't bring you back down like it normally would. And what you can do with this is there's the simple ladder. You bring them up and then you just wait a little bit and then do another combo. That usually works once or twice a fight because it usually catches people off guard. But once people notice you're doing that, they can just block or use a move in that little gap you're waiting in the air. Like when you're wait- oh my gosh. When you're waiting right here, this little gap right there where I just waited, they can do something or block. But it does work. I do it in uh, the Tachi video a few times. But usually what you want to do when you up tilt is there's certain moves that you can like- Everybody knows how to like move stack or attack cancel with beams and stuff like I'll do it with demonic <laughs> that where you use the move and down slam at the same time it's the same thing except for instead of doing the move at the same time as down slamming do the move at the same time as up tilting so basically I'm gonna do shurikens at the same time as I up tilt and there's no gap they can't get out of that like how they could normally get out of okay I, I just love selling but Normally, like how they can get out of this one, if you move stack a move while you go up, they can't get out of it. When you move stack a move or attack cancel a move with the up tilt, it makes it so there's no gap. Like right there, see, it's not a, if it was a blocking dummy, he would have blocked, but that's just because my shurikens went to this one. But if they went to this one like they're supposed to, when I up tilt, there's no gap. There's no gap at all. Let's just get this dummy out the way so I can show it. See, no gap, no gap. There, he could not block that. Since you're using a move at the same time as up tilting, it keeps them. The hit stun keeps them there long enough for you to reset your M1s in the air and start hitting again. 
So basically, you don't want to bring them up and just spam M1. You, you never want to let go of spacebar. Because the second you let go of spacebar, you're going to bring them back to the ground. So if you want to keep them in the air, you just hold spacebar. Oh my gosh. You hold spacebar. And you keep them in the air. And then if you want to down slam them like I just did right there. You just let go of spacebar so after you do four m1s in the air let go of spacebar and it's gonna down slam i'll do it over here see after i do four m1s i let go of spacebar and he gets down slammed and that's basically how you ladder so like that lets you do combos like the one shot itachi combo where you just have to ladder into that and then you just do that that one shot Itachi combo is only possible because you can create a combo extension with shurikens by uh, uh, up, up tilting with them and then staying up there so yeah that's how you ladder I'm gonna show off a few other characters and then I'm gonna end it okay with Rock Lee you ladder actually twice in the same combo so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that uh, you just M1, up tilt, then two of shurikens, then hold- I haven't let go of space since I up tilted with the shurikens. The entire time I did that, I never let go of space bar. Because basically how it works, is you up tilt with the shurikens kind of like a exactly like a Tachi. I'm not kind of, exactly like the Tachi one. You just up tilt with the shurikens. And then when you're doing the ladder combo, when you're M1ing after the shurikens, after the fourth M1, do rising wind and don't let go of spacebar and then after rising wind hits you can if you're still holding spacebar you can do a whole nother m1 combo and when you combine all that it lets you do cool combos like this you can just up tilt with the shurikens i still haven't let go of spacebar and then the enemy's dead and the reason why i down tilted right at the end is because primary lotus doesn't work unless you're at the ground so that's why you want to down tilt and then quickly before the end lag kicks in use primary to kill him but yeah, so I'm going to tell you when I start holding spacebar and then I'm going to tell you when I let go. Okay, so holding spacebar, holding spacebar. I'm still holding spacebar. I just let go of spacebar right at the end when I down slammed him. That's when I let go. I was holding it from the up tilt all the way to the down slam. And that's how you ladder. Holding spacebar just keeps you up in the air. You can ladder with basically any move you could just gotta test the moves not any move but you can ladder with a lot of moves like you can ladder with skyscraper or start just hold space bar the whole time and look it's not pretty with stark because of how the enemy's angled but it works like i just laddered that dummy he was stuck even though my sword was under underneath him it was still laddering i was holding space bar the whole time after i used skyscraper and that made it so i could keep m wanting him in the air without bringing him down Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get the 2K before the end of the month. See ya.